Watch the sun rise, light in the sky, cast in its shadow And on this morning, bright low it be, I feel a shadow. See, I have God for my help. The Lord sustains my soul. I will sacrifice to you with willing heart and praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord of mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ of mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God of mercy in us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. So, O Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. Doom for the shepherds who allow the flock of my pasture to be destroyed and scattered. It is the Lord who speaks. This, therefore, is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says about the shepherds in charge of my people. You have let my flock be scattered and go wandering and have not taken care of them. Right, I will take care of you for your misdeeds. It is the Lord who speaks. But the remnant of my flock I myself will gather from all the countries where I have dispersed them and will bring them back to their pastures. 
they shall be fruitful and increase in numbers. I will raise up shepherds to look after them and pasture them. No fear, no terror for them any more. Not one shall be lost. It is the Lord who speaks. See, the days are coming, it is the Lord who speaks, when I will raise a virtuous branch for David, who will reign as true king and be wise, practicing honesty and integrity in the land. In his days, Judah will be saved and Israel dwell in confidence. And this is the name he will be called, the Lord our integrity. The word of the Lord. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near restful waters he leads me to revive my drooping spirit. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me along the right path. He is true to his name. If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. You are there with your crook and your staff. With these you give me comfort. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You have prepared a banquet for me in the sight of my foes. My head you have anointed with oil. My cup is overflowing. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Surely goodness and kindness shall follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell forever and ever. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. In Christ Jesus, you that used to be so far apart from us have been brought very close by the blood of Christ. For he is the peace between us and has made the two into one and broken down the barrier which used to keep them apart, actually destroying in his own person the hostility caused by the rules and decrees of the law. This was to create one single new man in himself out of the two of them, and by restoring peace through the cross, to unite them both in a single body and reconcile them with God. In his own person, he killed the hostility. Later, he came to bring the good news of peace, peace to you who were far away and peace to those who were near at hand. Through him, both of us have in the one spirit our way to come to the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand to greet the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. The sheep that belong to me listen to my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. The apostles rejoined Jesus and told him all they had done and taught. Then he said to them, you must come away to some lonely place all by yourselves and rest for a while. For there were so many coming and going that the apostles had no time even to eat. So they went off in a boat to a lonely place where they could be by themselves. But people saw them going, and many could guess where. And from every town they all hurried to the place on foot and reached it before them. So as he stepped ashore, he saw a large crowd, and he took pity on them, because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he set himself to teach them at some length. The Gospel of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Three young priests were having a very abstruse debate about prayer. They discussed the merits of different poses or bodily postures during prayer. One strongly advocated praying on one's knees because that signified 
humility, reverence, and the proper attitude of the creature before the creator God. A second argued strongly for the lotus position with legs crossed and back straight and hands opened out on the lap. For this suggested availability and a readiness to listen to the Lord. And the third was equally convinced that the correct position in prayer was to pray like Jesus with his eyes cast up to heaven. It so happened there was an electrician working nearby and he could not help overhearing the, uh, this profound debate. Uh, he was hesitant, but he decided to speak up and add his tuppence worth. Far be it from me to enter into an argument with you boys about prayer, however, I just want to tell you what my own experience has been. I never give any thought about right or wrong postures at prayer. But then one day, I found myself hanging by one leg from an electric pole in the middle of a thunderstorm after the ladder had slipped. I cried out to God for help in that position. And you know something? He heard me. We get Jesus' attention and we impress him through our powerlessness and our brokenness. Lord, look upon us and take pity on us. For at times we too are like sheep. Save us from a blind following of the crowd. Help us to listen to your voice to trust you and to follow you, even if it means leaving the crowd and walking a lonely path. Lead us from fear to trust, from error to truth, from hate to love, from war to peace, from despair to hope, and from death to life. Amen. And we stand to profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, True God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate to the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The people that searched for Jesus and found him experienced his compassion and care for them. In faith, we come now to place our needs and the needs of all people before the Father. May Francis, our Pope, and Eamon and Michael, our bishops, be true and faith-filled shepherds of God's earthly flock. Lord, hear us. May all people listen to the voice of the Good Shepherd and follow his example of care and compassion for others. Lord, hear us. 
May all people on the margins of both church and society know the love of Jesus, the Good Shepherd, in the actions of his followers. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. May all of us gathered here be inspired by the Good Shepherd. May we always recognize and develop the gifts of love and compassion present within each one of us. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. May those who are sick in body, mind, or spirit be healed by the gentle touch of Jesus, the Good Shepherd. Lord, hear us. Lord, and we take a moment to pray for all our own intentions. Lord, hear us. We pray for all who have died, the recently deceased, Isabel Duffy, Eureka Dos Santos in East Timor, Eileen Hamill, John James McGoldrick, and Bozina Zlota of Portadown, formerly of Poland, whose funeral mass is here on Tuesday at 11 a.m. And at this time, we remember Marie Hall and Phil MacDonald. Yesterday, the anniversaries of Patrick McCann, Francisco de Costa Correa, Maria do Carmo Lopez Correa, and Smith de Carvalho. Today, the anniversaries of Roisin Cullen, Bernadette Guy, Gertrude Elliott, Rita Kelly, Agostino de Silva, Maria de Bellini, uh, Jose Diezes, Manuel da Silva, Marcus da Silva do Rego, Francisco Pereira, Madalena Corte Real, Eduardo da Silva, Lorenzo Su Suarez, Yoli Gutierrez Silva, Patricia Wilson, Nee Hall, and deceased members of the Hall and Creaney families, Maria Sarmento, Joaquin Martins da Costa, and John McHugh. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Let us pray. Listen to our prayers, O Lord, and grant us the grace to accept your will for our lives through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept we pray this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel so that what each is offered to the honour of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. 
for by his birth he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by his suffering cancelled out our sins. By his rising from the dead he has opened the way to eternal life, and by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Eamon, our Bishop, his assistant Bishop Michael, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, our venerable spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. This day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour. Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Just a few notes. By the way, that piece of music that we just heard, I remember years ago that was used, I forget what it was called, but it was used as the theme music of a series about the American Civil War. I think we'll maybe should ban it for a while because it looks as if they're heading for another one the way they're behaving out there. It's uh, dangerous to be within earshot of any of them. And uh, anyway, stop. Um, last week's collection amounted to £1,941 and 6p. The standing order amount for June was £852. And we thank everyone who contributed. Uh, the diocesan pastoral team invites everyone to a mass uh, celebrating the invaluable contributions of women to the church in the Archdiocese of Armagh. And the celebrant is Archbishop Eamon. It's in the cathedral on the 22nd of July at 7 p.m. And there is a car wash fundraiser by the young people of Drumcree Centre at Clean Getaway Car Wash today from half past 10 till 3 this afternoon. All proceeds going towards bunting and flags for decorating the road. R work on that project is well underway. It's looking very colourful already and uh, all the best to those involved in it. I hope it pays off in the end. And uh, I think that's it. Oh yes, there was one thing there in the gospel you may have noticed that uh, St. Mark says that Jesus proceeded to teach the people at some length. I didn't refer to that in my homily because it's generally taken as an excuse for long sermons. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. <laughs>